one of the most exciting advances that's happening in, in uh, technology and in science is the capability of researchers to create artificial life forms in the lab. And by artificial life, I'm referring to single-celled organisms. And this is going to revolutionize biomedicine, it's going to revolutionize in industry and technology, but it also raises a number of very tricky theological questions. Among those is, is a creator even necessary for life to exist? Because the, the idea is that if people can create life in the lab, then is a creator even necessary? Is life really special? So the purpose of creating life in the lab is to explore that idea. Uh, and in doing so, I present the latest advances in the quest to create artificial and synthetic life in the lab. And I talk about the implications. And what I argue in the book is that uh, this work actually indicates that apart from the work of an intelligent agent, the origin of life is simply not possible. For those who read my book, I hope that they get out of it first an appreciation for just the remarkable nature of the scientific accomplishment and the technical accomplishment uh, with regard to creating life in the lab. But I also hope that they too can appreciate just how powerful the evidence is as a result of this work for the necessity that a creator must be in operation to bring life into existence. This is Fuzz Rana and I hope you all enjoy reading my new book, Creating Life in the Lab.